Welcome to NASA's Summer of Innovation Lesson Support Videos. I'm Steve Cullivan, NASA Aerospace Education Specialist at the John C. Stennis Space Center in Mississippi, and this is Robots at NASA, Making the Connection. The purpose of this short video is to provide you with some quick background information to support you while you're introducing the Summer of Innovation Robot Activities. As you introduce the idea of robots at NASA to your students, you might try setting the stage with these foundational activities. Help your students discover some of the very cool robots working at NASA. Try some activities to help you think about what you want a robot to do. Figure out some strategies to program the directions you want the robot to execute. NASA has a great website to connect students to more learning and even get involved. At NASA, robots help us do what humans cannot do safely, to go where we cannot yet go and to carry some of the workload. This is Robonaut 2, and he lives on the International Space Station. R2 is a dexterous humanoid robot. R2 is still in the box here, but stay tuned and see what this new robot has been up to on Earth and on the International Space Station. Robots help us get to places or gather data in places that we cannot get to safely. A good example is Athlete. Athlete is an all-terrain, hex-limbed, extraterrestrial explorer, hence the name Athlete. The unique abilities of Athlete will be used in lunar exploration. Check out how these limbs move and work independently to get Athlete over the rough terrain. You can get more information on Athlete at its website. While it is not yet safe for humans to head to Mars, Spirit and Opportunity travel to the Red Planet and gather data over many years. This is an image from Spirit. All of their images have helped us learn more than we ever knew about the surface of Mars. And Opportunity is still going strong. You can learn more about Spirit and Opportunity at their website. This is an artist in depiction of Curiosity, which will be headed to Mars in 2011 and expected to land in 2012. You can learn more and follow the expedition at the Curiosity website. A little earlier we met R2. He is here now to give us a hand. Hands and our opposable thumbs mean we can do many things. Same goes for R2. With lists and ideas, you can explore what the hand does. But how does it do it? By examining how a hand works, a great activity is to have students make videos of their hand doing a task they're going to ask a robot to do. Through these activities, students can think about what a robot hand might look like. I want to hold your hand is a great lesson in which students can build a hand that can grab things. This young lady has finished building a cardboard robot hand from that activity. To think about robots a bit differently now, let's turn to rovers. Rovers need directions. They need to be programmed. A great way to introduce students to this idea is have them think about moving their robots through a grid. Here is a great program from JPL that lets students simulate rovers programming. One way to have students try this out in person is to make grids on the floor with masking tape. And then make turn directions such as right, left, and straight on paper to hold up so the person robot can navigate the grid using the exact communications with which they were programmed. Here teachers try out the lessons with a person or robot on the grid they made, which include obstacles. While the programmers hold up the commands and hope they can communicate clearly to complete their mission. You can challenge your students to visit the Mars yard virtually at JPL to explore what types of obstacles to include that will make the next round of programming 
even more complex. For fun with younger students, you can include some foil headsets. The teachers in this class had fun making their headsets with leftover materials from other camp lessons. Besides following up on all the websites for the robots we met before, you can encourage students to try to continue to explore the world of robots. One website at JPL has virtual Dr. C who can answer students' questions. Dr. C can be found at his own website. You can also follow the adventures of Robonaut 2 or R2 on the web. The NASA Robotics Alliance project has lots of support, materials, and ideas. You might even consider entering a team in one of the robotics competitions found nationwide. You can find more information at the Robotics Alliance Project website. On the NASA Robotics Alliance Project page, you will find a link to the first robotics competition. You can encourage students to continue their interest in robotics by joining a team, or you might want to coach a team. As part of the competition, students use robots, inquiry, and the engineering design process to find solutions to real-world issues. Thank you for joining us as we explore robotics together as part of NASA's Summer of Innovation. And special thanks to the many education specialists in the NASA Digital Learning Network who helped make this video lesson possible.